5.15, one stop drop suspension off, so I'm good to go when we get back. But we're on the way to the Philippines, race number two there. Michaela's coming with me this time, so we're gonna make a little holiday out of it. Um, get the racing done first, hopefully we can get a win. Go enjoy ourselves a bit. I guess it isn't ever what you can say When we reminisce, we forget about the plan days Views from the grandstand, never see the bad plays Only see the highlights, only hear the band play Hitting all the high notes, don't recall the fat ones Better the times that you looking back from Talking about the present, talking about now Skip around a topic, walking out the house Jumping in the whip, yeah, headed for a little peace of mind But the trip cut short when you're blowing up my line Welcome to the Philippines Okay, so we made it back here to the Philippines. Um, Kurt, Teddy, everyone here was awesome to us last time, so I definitely wanted to come back. So this track is the Tevez Cup, or the Tevez MX Park, and they've stepped it up heaps from the last time. I was pretty impressed already, um, but now like the pits is awesome. They've put some turf down and stuff. We've got a pretty awesome setup there. The track is the exact same layout with a couple minor changes. So like the whoops are nowhere near as technical now. Um, and they're slowly, I think, trying to get the rocks out of it, but I don't think they'll ever actually get the rocks out. There's just rocks everywhere. But yeah, super excited to get into it. They bring way more fast dudes over this time. We got um, Lewis Stewart from Australia, who's, I've raced him in Indonesia a bunch, and I've honestly never even seen him by the end of the races. He's just destroyed me every time. So it's gonna be good to try to have to try to go a little bit quicker, um, push myself a little bit. Because they've made the track even simpler, it's going to be down to so much of like get a start and then just be in like go fast, like get your intensity up. So I'm excited to, um, yeah, just get out and see. I know you never really know what to expect here. Always super nervous, like oh, you watch the boys and they look like everyone's going crazy fast. But obviously the racing always sorts it out. So hopefully we um, we can get another couple wins and just have a good weekend. So obviously I was just talking, saying there's some rocks. You look at the up ramp here, it's like there was a bunch of us that were getting flats. So I think I might just put like 30 psi in my tyres because the up ramp's already got <laughs> this massive rocks coming out of it. So that hasn't changed. <laughs> Go around the corner. Whereas now it's just double, double land berm and just hit the berm. You'll still probably be faster if you can do the inside good because you know how sharp that's going to be. And I reckon because you've made this easy, no one will even attempt doing the inside, the hard line now. Just before, yeah. You look a bit. Uh, you lose weight? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I see. I, um, Hi. Hi, how are you? Yeah, this is Michaela, my girlfriend. Yeah, I saw nice to meet you. I saw your yeah. vlogs. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, um, you, you move? Do I move? Yeah, yeah, yeah we moved, yeah. Moved, yeah. Your, yeah. Yeah, into a different house, like, Good spot. Near the beach now. Oh, nice. Where you come and stay when you come to Australia. Yeah. Yeah, sure. we got a spare room. <laughs> nice. Yeah. We could go there. Um, Maybe next year. Yeah. It's a bit rocky right now. It looks a bit gnarly. Yeah, yesterday it was good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Really nice. The, the more it rips up, probably just more and more rocks, like last time. <laughs> the weeps look different. He's, yeah, they lower the, the kicker. Yeah. Going to the last two whoops. Outside fastest now? I tried outside, it's fast, but the problem is there's a hole already. Yeah, I saw that. Sketchy. <laughs> yeah. If it kicks you like that. Yeah, definitely. Oh. It'll be right, man. We'll be fine. <laughs> right, good luck, eh? Good luck, good luck. This is where I felt like Justin Bieber. Yes. There was honestly like a bunch of people there and it was like screaming girls every lap. Like <laughs> through the bike noise, like people everywhere and everything. Yeah, look how hard packed and slick that is. Who's this? Checking the bikes out now. So every time I come here, I feel factory as. So I actually get to ride Kurt, who helps out, gets me over here. I get to ride his personal bike, and the thing is epic. It's got X-Tree um, clamps, full KYB A kit. It's got 
got the carbon tank, kite hubs and wheels. Um, it's actually, he's just gone and put some... Wait for these 50s to go past. Just went and got a um, full head from Italy done on the 250. The 450's still stock, but you don't need to do too much of them anyway. But 250 has a full um, head completely done from Italy, so I'm excited to get out on that thing and ride like a done up 250 just to see how it feels. Um, I've never really had one before, but either way, these things look trick. the boys are out there now my bike's not ready so hopefully I get at least two laps um, and then we get five minutes of start practice straight into some qualifying and it's going to be manual timing so they're timing off their iPhones um, and we get three laps each so like a slight lap and then three laps and then that's it so hopefully get a good qualifying time because the track's a bit wet like I'm going to want to definitely get a whole shot um, or at least as close to the front as I can be but we need to get out on track hopefully so
I just like not trusting to go fast. So they are like, hanging it out so much more, but I don't think I want you to I hang it out anymore. It, it's just so sketchy. I just don't want to have to like... A die? I'm just not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> So I made the mistake last time I was here. I got a decent start, well I got good starts, but I took like the lines that we take in Australia, like I opened the turn and carried speed, but they just beeline it to the inside and they just like, they don't care about stopping. So I ended up getting pushed right back. So this time it's like my goal is a qualified fourth, which isn't the best, I'm not gonna have the first pick, but I'll try to get as far inside as possible and just get to that inside line as first, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so there's, like today, Saturday is um, 250 only, so we're on 250. So I'm still like in qualifying, I was struggling with the gears, so I'd be too high of a gear, and the track was a little bit deep and wet, so I was coming around and I was just like bogging out of all the turns, so I got to really get used to clicking all the way down to second, then just click back up and go. So I just, I'm not revving the bike enough, but that's right, we'll figure it out. This is a stereo relax. Okay, Aaron, you're going to buy it. Takashi, buy it. Second. Relaxing, Takashi. Relaxing. Then Tanarat. Tanarat, my God. Second. One luck. And. Ja. I can't even go back to one out there. Yes. Wake up, go ahead. Can this be service, babe?
So we have a very exciting race. Now we have to So frustrating. We nearly died so many times. Oh, we're going to put that in the Yeah, could have made me passes. Yeah, that second crash took me so far back again, I had to catch. Yeah, but your rating was good. Yeah, thank you. Tomorrow will be better. <laughs> yeah. Now, your class, 450. Yeah, that's Tomorrow. right. Active. Active young. Robert and Doro Kotegui. All right, very good. A representative from Kojisan. Any representative from Kojisan to award the winners. Alright, obviously back in the hotel now, um, got gear and stuff hanging out, we did a quick shower wash because we've got to get it all ready before tomorrow. Um, so didn't speak to the camera much today but Moto1 went to plan, I was second out of the first turn um, and then quickly made my way into first, the um, Gerard actually had a bit of a crash, he tucked the front, gave me the lead, I pulled a pretty big lead, uh, felt solid, just cruised it on home and then after that, um, got ready, Moto 2, well while we were getting ready for Moto 2, it was just pouring down rain the whole time. Knew it was going to be a bit of a mutter, needed a good start, and I um, don't have starting blocks over here, so I was using rocks, and as the five second board went up, I put a bit more pressure on the, um, on the blocks or the rocks to try to get myself set up. When I did that, it rolled, and I was off balance when the gate dropped and just completely blew the start, I was towards the back and then I crashed, I clipped someone and crashed first turn. So um, yeah, dead last, come back through. I think I got into fifth, caught up to fourth, clipped a lapper, crashed again, and then was sort of sending it, had a few moments jumping off the track and stuff like that. So it was um, it was a rough one and it was wet. So everything was just covered in crap. That's why we got stuff hanging up everywhere. Um, and then yeah, we got home I'll oh, back here to the hotel at like seven o'clock, ordered dinner straight away, just room surface because we're pretty tired. And we've just got it. So Michaela's already been sleeping because it is 10.30 just about and we only just got our food. So we're gonna eat up. I did order a bunch. So we're gonna eat up, um, go to sleep and do it all again tomorrow on the 450. My goal is two hole shots, two wins and just make it simple. <laughs> All right, cheers guys. All right, do a little walk through of the pits. So this is like the VIP pits. This is Ben set up, Thailand rider. So it's sort of like Thailand over here. Ben Tenerat, you got Team Japan, more Thailand. You guys are right. <laughs> uh, and then we got, so Team Sabong International, which is my setup here. Got these awesome, Little like rider backdrops. Got the boys, the mechanics have been grinding for me, putting in heaps of work, um, getting everything swapped over onto the 450 right now because 450 day today. So running a stock shock, um, but I'm going to use the KYB forks because they're stiffer. My forks over here are really soft and I'm struggling with it a little bit. So we're just trying to make the bike as stiff as it can be, which I think is going to be the 450 shock with the 250 forks that have got the KYB in them. Then we got some Filipino guys, old Kurt's team, Team Sabong International. Hey, Joe. hey man. <laughs> um, then down here we've got uh, Nemo, yeah, Jiraj Wanalak. So he's another Thailand rider, another really quick guy. Alright, so gonna jump on a bit of track walk here. So it's been raining, 
a lot and they don't rip the tracks here in the Philippines so we basically end up with rocks everywhere coming out of the ground and it's just super slippery on top like they're super deceiving how good it looks to how slippery it actually is what do you think another track dude uh pretty muddy for Pre 65 <laughs> yeah. yeah for 65 gonna yeah. be pretty tough got to get through these big puddles somehow all right well i'm gonna walk the rest of the track and good luck today dude thank you good luck So again, berms and stuff all look pretty good, but then it's got these hidden rocks that come out. So that's just a massive rock. There's another one. They just come out everywhere throughout and you're basically just riding on rocks, not on dirt. And you can see here, like just up from there. Can't really see that on camera, but that's like a massive rock. So this all gets thrown off during the race. It's just in, it's just endless. They just keep coming.
I really want to try to get the win for you guys. Riders na uh, ng ating uh... Good work, babe. Okay, checker na August, ha? Alright, done. So, congratulations to Sabu, brother. Team good boy. Dominating the race. We have Joy Levans. One a lot. And one a lot. That was a suffer fest. Like, I suffered so hard then. I was like, I'm not going to give up until he gives up. Like, I'm going to outbreak him. Okay, bye. There's like, really, it's like, Murag, gonna uh, gonna Murag, ladies. First. Murag, intermediate. Murag, bye na. Murag, bye na. Siguro ni katong, kwan bye, katong, Nobis Junior. Ganina, Nobis Junior, before ta nag-intermediate. Nobis Junior, ni? Yeah. Oh, Nobis. Okay, tanawa na, bye. Okay, Novice, then we'll have the intermediate. Novice class. Gaggles na pink. Sinong nagaanap ng gaggles pink ang kulay? Ipay o puso sa Facebook para makita sa itong mga brush, no? Hola, nak kasih lama sih naik nama itu dia, no? Nak kasih lama. Hey, congratulations for all the hard work. Hahaha. 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 Haha
Just a high